Oh my gosh, you're so fancy. Hi, how I'm, are you? I'm good. Look, everybody, and what's in his ear? Look at you. <laughs> it's a, is it a cold day in Nashville? I can see behind you. It almost looks like snow. Now I want to go there again. It's not like super cold. It was like it was like 30 this morning, but now it's like 60. But when I left my house this morning, it was so cold, and I always like more like cold blooded. So I put this massive jacket on because I'm like it's so freezing outside. It's the cutest. It's the Thank cutest. You. I get, Justin, take a note. I have to eat to know Ann Wilson so I can borrow her clothes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to country music. You know, we cuss a lot over here, right? Are you scared <laughs> at all? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> For people who don't know, Ann uh, has started her career and continues to be a Christian uh, music artist, correct? Yes. And yep. an album under your belt called My Jesus. Yep. And then suddenly you were just like, I don't know, I need to be around cussing and whiskey and here you come. <laughs> <laughs> How did how did you um? I mean, you definitely have the country sound in your voice. You're from Kentucky, right? Yes. Yeah. But did you say now I'm going to make a country music album, or did someone come to you and say, "Girl, let's do it"? So my first album, My Jesus, is the message of my faith, but it's country sounding. Like the yeah. production is country, but like the message is faith based. So when I first released, that's my I mean, that's my only record I have out. You know, it was like people were like, "Oh wow, like this is." We don't listen. We're not like Christians. We don't listen to Christian music, but we love that your songs are country. So we like listen to your songs because of how they sound. And then I've obviously had other people say, well, we love we love country music, you know, and we love Christian music. So we love how you combine both of them. So it was always kind of like clear that that's something that I was you know, supposed to do. And that's what came natural for me. But then after my first record came out, um, I started to write again for the new record, having no idea what it was going to be like. And I remember finding myself just going back to my roots, like more than ever, going back to where I came from, what I grew up on, what are the songs that inspired me as a little kid, um, what really got me started in all of it. And it made me realize that it was just the continuation of what I do now, which is the message of faith with with the sound of country music. But this record is definitely more country. It's it's just more, you know, it's it's the 22-year-old Anne versus the 17 and 18-year-old Anne. You yeah, know, it's I've yeah. learned, I've grown a lot, I've matured, I've discovered things about myself as an artist and as a creative that I wanted to put in this record. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of doing both and, you know, it's like I'm unapologetically Christian and unapologetically country. So Good for you, it's for people who don't know, I would like you to tell the story because it's your story to tell. It is not the happiest um of stories on how you actually came to be discovered, at least on the internet. You know, I mean, it's a, it's a tragic story, and uh, you tell it because I definitely don't want to put words in your mouth. It's such an important story. Yeah, my brother was tragically killed in a car accident in um, 2017, and my life was forever changed. You know, um, he it was it was a, such a traumatic time in my life, and he was 23. And his name was Jacob, and he was the cutest thing ever. Best friend, big brother, protector, you know, everything. It's our family. And losing him was really hard. But in the midst of it, it was like that's when I discovered what my calling was for my life, which was music and singing. And so I sang for the first time in front of anyone ever, including my parents and my sister at my brother's funeral. Wow. Um, not until I was 15. And I had no desire to do music prior to that. I wanted to be an astronaut, and I wanted to work for NASA. Wow. I just loved space and science and math. And then my brother was killed and it was like, okay, what am I doing with my life at 15? You know, how am I going to make an impact on the world with the years I have left? Because I wanted to like bring people hope. I wanted to like inspire people because I had walked such a hard life with losing my brother. I was like, how can I be a light to people? And for me, it was, it was music. And I, and then I kind of realized I could sing, like I had never really like Realized, I guess I could sing, so you I started didn't singing. Know you could sing? No, I really didn't. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Did you sing in the car, like just with your friends, and they would drown you out so you couldn't hear your voice because your voice is amazing. Thank you. Honestly, yes. Like when I would be in the car with friends and family, it was like we're listening to the radio, we're singing along, but like nobody's like you know, I wasn't ever singing alone to where somebody could hear me. And even then, back then, you know, I was so young that my voice has obviously developed a lot since then. You know, uh -huh. I've grown a lot as a as a singer. And so, yeah, it's crazy to look back on that. 
Wow. And now you're what is over 800 uh, million streams later. Is that what I read? Yeah, I know. Doing okay. <laughs> How did you decide this? Because this it's such a great tune. Um, the uh, See, I don't have my track list in front of me. Rain in the rear view. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great video. Great song. Great introduction to country music. Do you write all your songs? Because I read that you when you moved to Nashville, you took 120 songs with you. Was this one of them? Um, no. So when I first moved to Nashville, I wrote 150 for my oh. first for my first record. This record, I wrote 40. So I guess I've written around 200 and like 10 or 290. I mean, 190. I cannot count. What is okay? And 90. I songs. was believing everything you said. 3,614. <laughs> That's what Anne's written. I got you. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I guess about around 200 songs I've written in my career. Rain in the Rear View was written last year. And uh, this was one of the songs that I just, I, ne- I felt like there needed to be a song that specifically talked about the hope that we have like knowing that there's brighter days ahead you know and like losing my brother and grieving the loss of him and figuring out like how to move on from that was really where the song all came from and just knowing that that there is hope for the future and there are brighter days and the sun will shine and there will be moments of joy that come like after the pain and all of that so and it's so hard to believe when you're in that kind of grief that you'll ever smile again even right yeah, it is for sure. Yeah. And you also, you can't force other people into that. Yeah. And I think definitely. that, I think that music is just a perfect way to kind of show that message without getting preachy, you know? Mm-hmm. You know, we definitely people don't want to hear it. You know, you, I'm sure you felt this when your brother um, mm-hmm. died. You were just like, no, I'll never be happy again. Don't tell me that I will. How can I possibly be? You know, it's so oh, true. I know it really is. Well, you, this album, um, has a couple of pretty superstar people up in there. You know, you've got Jordan Davis, a great tune with Jordan Davis. And then the hottest thing in country music, you have Lainey Wilson on here with you. Mm. How's that happen? Lainey and me have been good friends for about four years on Instagram. We met on Instagram in 2020. And before we had songs out, you know, all that it was so sweet to look back on it. We always say that we're like the long lost Wilson sisters. Um, oh. And she is like almost like exactly 10 years older than me. So she's able to give me so much wisdom and like leadership. And like, she's like a big sister. Like she's taught me so much. She has given me so much good advice. She's such an inspiration to me. I really look up to her. And our managers are really good friends. So we had written the song together. It's called Praying Woman. We wrote that back in the summer. And then she, we asked her, you know, if she would want to be on the actual song, not just a writer on it, but she, if she would want to sing on it. And she agreed to it. And here we are. And I can't believe it. I mean, I'm honored, beyond honored that she would choose to be on my record. Um, it shows who she is, though. Like, she is so giving. And, like, no matter yeah, how big she, she gets, she wants, to, she wants to champion the next generation of artists, which is how she's been with me. And it's been, it's been awesome. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better. Did you ever get a chance to go to uh, Lainey's um, magic trailer? Or was, or was she out of that? No, no, no. I never got to. <laughs> a lot of magic came out of that trailer. So much. Yeah. But that's all right. She takes the magic with her. That is it's fantastic. The album is coming out April 19th, correct? Yes. And the the lead song, is the, is the album called Rebel? It is. Yeah. The first song on that album is Rebel, right? Mm-hmm. And that gets you right between the eyes because the minute I heard it, it was just kind of like, oh, who's this girl? You know? <laughs> Thank and you. And that you wrote? You wrote that one? Yeah, I wrote all the songs. I covered all the songs on the record. Um, and yeah, so Rebel was a, a, a really special song. I wrote that at the end of 2022. And I, I'd had that title on my phone for a long time, but I never really found like the right songwriters to bring it into the room with. And and so I had my core group of songwriters. I brought it to them and I was like, okay, let's do something with it. And we did. And coming, like seeing that come to life and what it means to be a rebel in the world that we live in today for me was having faith and standing mm-hmm. firm in it and not backing down, not changing myself to fit Christian music, not changing myself to fit country music. But being authentically who I am and doing that wow. makes me an outsider and a rebel. And so um, there was no other song that made sense to be the, the you know, the title track. 
Um, so we chose rebel and then every song that we wrote was was written from what it means to be a rebel. So like on the record packaging, you'll see like each song has like a sentence that'll be like a rebel, blah, 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 blah. You know, like it'll like oh, kind of like to, like each song has a sentence that goes with each song to kind of connect back to the rebel concept, which um, is just really cool to have. I feel like some artists don't do that as much anymore as they used to like way back when. But like having a record that's one collective group of songs that all cohesively go together that's was the goal. It's an art. It's an art. And you pulled it off. I think that's so great. I love an yeah. album that's put together like that. When you really think about the order and all of that, how it starts, how it ends, how it transitions. Mwah. Big fan. Thank you. Thank look you so me. much. And and also we should look for you going on. The, are you on the Rebel Study Recurry now? Yes, we have one weekend left. So we're almost finished. Yeah. Wow. I bet that that was unbelievable. And it, it was. It still is. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Good guy. What a good guy. What a, a good guy to uh, to start your country uh, introductions with, you know? Yeah, totally. Well, gosh, I, I, do, you know, do you know or can you talk about where, what you're doing next? Are you going to go out on the road with anybody that we should know? Yes. About? I'm headlining uh, my tour in the fall called the Rebel Tour, and I am so excited about it. I cannot no. wait. We're going to be watching for you. Thank uh, you. The album comes out April the 19th. I got that right. Mm -hmm. Rebel, you got to check it out. Her name is Ann Wilson. How cool is she? And look at that jacket. Yes. <laughs> so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thanks so much for having me. Ann Wilson, everybody. Thank you, girl. We'll yes. see you soon. No Thank doubt. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Have a good day. You